Right, here we are on the uh, much-loved Silverstone Historic 1991, the only version to drive. And we're in the long-forgotten Lotus V6 Exige. I'll leave a link in the description below because if you haven't got it, you're missing out. If you have got it and you haven't tried them, you're also missing out. Well matched to this track. As it happens, there's a nice track day car. Some nice clogs racing. As long as I can keep the back in ending check, that is. It's got a little bit of uh, lift off over steer, not much though. Can keep it in check most of the time. gear right under so yeah these cars have been out a while from Fred um, they kind of passed a lot of people by those who know know they are uh, super tight uh, suspension is super uh, stiff as well so you've got to watch the curves on this of course so they are killers they right. are yeah, of course using the uh, thunder flash Custom AI. Just to make things more interesting, and we'll watch the AI get it absolutely where we need these curves. Which results in uh, comedy clouds of smoke and me going, Clear left. Ah! Well, more of that later. We've got five laps, I'm sure they'll uh, manage to uh, get themselves in trouble. There's a gap, I like that. Still there. Left. Leave him room. B20. It's the second time recording, because the first time I set off with four laps worth of fuel. Smoke, don't like smoke round here. Alright. Yeah, don't like smoke round here. That right. usually means the right. AI's got it horribly wrong. damage on so uh, yeah. bulldozing is not an option I think these are a bit fragile watch them curbs are win there's not many friendly curbs on this course it's good to know where they are Down to the bottom at break, down to third, and round we go. The great air smother. As we head on to foot at stairs for Krakus Barafat. There will be uh, a link to translations below in the descriptions for that little lot. Any Wiganers out there, stop laughing. It's a very small minority joke, alright? And you're part of it. <laughs> High speed uh, lift off over steer that you've got to watch. For low speed, you've got a little, little bit more chance of catching. It's usually around this bit here. And I'm just going to shut it's up for a little bit. 50. Try and catch these guys up. Shouldn't take me long. The crash unsettled me. Yes, if you catch that in a curve, that happens. I told you the AI were going to cause problems for themselves. We're all backed up here. A little gaggle in front of us. Drop to third now. Good curve, good curve. Yes, we like the good curves. Quite hold with them around the end of that section. Try and pull back in a bit more here. Okay, 
Powder, just get the back end back in control. Counter steering leads to going wide. But if you can catch it quick enough and accelerate it, you can pull it in. It's an odd thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sliding out of this bend, hit the accelerator. Uh, counter. <laughs> it's kind of uh, counter logical. It says it gets a massive slide coming on the hill. Bridge even. Such a wide slider. I've forgotten the name of things like bridges and tunnels. Tunnels would be bridges that go under. As I was once told by somebody who should know better. It's a waste tunnel. It's now 28 Celsius. Keep it together. Ugh, cow's bouncing that much. It sounded like it was a yo-yo. Felt like it was on a yo-yo. The guy in front is Santo. Okay, that was huge. Don't want to go anywhere near that one. Oof. We seem to have come worse off. Every time on that corner, as the cars just seem to keep going off there. You get races where they don't, and races like today where they, uh, where they decide they want to go off every time they get there. Nielsen is running you in. The gap's now 1.5 seconds. Okay, getting it all back together. This course has got a lovely flow to it. Um, Kind of the modern iterations have just they've lost all of this. It's just like driving down the autobahn with the central reservation removed and everybody's gone the same way. It's crazy. It's got a bit of the old character to it. And landmarks that don't repeat themselves. Try and get the uh, apex in the sun. Just that little bit there. Not making an indent on these. Coming on the last lap now. It's now 18 Let's see, can they get round here without crashing? Look for smoke, everybody. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got plenty of room and it's safe. Everybody goes through. Honky dory, not a problem. Conspiracy Jim's been handing out ten pound notes at the beginning, hasn't he? Tires are getting a little bit squidgy. But yeah, the Lotus V6 Exige is absolutely brilliant car model. Sounds great, drives even better, and uh, is suitable for any kind of uh, club tracks really. Race against multiple things, and it's just a uh, really nice feedback on it. Force feedback, the physics are really sharp on it. Much more I can say, but go and drive it if you haven't. It's sitting there. You have no excuse. In news, for those of you who managed to stay all the way to the last lap waiting for me to crash, uh, Fred's putting the R32, I think it's the R32, into the JGTC packs, well they got it from nowhere. Clear left. So we've got another car that's take it up to eight. Can I get him back? It's like a wide line, dodge the kerb. Yeah. No chance, too far back. Caught the kerb. D20, that's the end of the race. Okie dokie. 
Don't mind, Jim. Never mind. But there you go. What more can I say? But, adios.